Well guys, I've been holding out on you the last month and a half. There's been an auction coming up for this big shop space behind me here. And last week, Tuesday night, I was able to finally buy it. So we've got the sold sign here from the auction. And this is what we've got. It is almost 9,000 square feet. It's 60 by 136 and about a third of it is heated shop space. So really excited. Let me show you the property and tell you about it a little bit. So about a month and a half ago, I was driving home from work and there's a road right here and that's what I usually take to get home. And I saw the auction signs and I've known about this shop for a long time. Didn't realize it was gonna be going up for sale, but uh, it didn't take me very long to realize that this was gonna be an incredible property for my situation. So basically what we've got here, this is on four acres. And initially the homeowners had planned on building a house here. So it's all set up to have a house built over here. But we've got four acres, it's a perfect square. And um, the house would go over here. We've got a pond back here as well. It's about three quarters of an acre. Um, that was dug to build up the pad for the shop. It's got a septic system in the back already, which was a huge plus because I've been looking for properties out in the country to be able to build on. And most farmers don't wanna sell anything. And even if you can find something to buy, you don't know if it's gonna perk, which means you might not be able to put a septic system on it. So being able to purchase a property that has a shop, it's got a septic system and a well already installed, and it's ready to have a house tied in was just a huge plus. So just looking at the building here, as you can see, we've actually got overhead doors, which is really ideal for a construction company's type space. But uh, basically, so I've been watching for this property and I knew that it was gonna be at an auction. I didn't know what it was gonna go for. So I know a lot of you guys know that I'm a big no debt guy. There's probably a lot of questions about purchasing the building and things like that. Drop those questions in the comments. I'll make a separate video just talking about the finances behind a shop and my thoughts on that. So here we are getting ready to walk into the heated shop. We had the auction last Tuesday night and uh, I'll just show you where I was sitting whenever I bought this thing. So if you've ever bought any kind of a large property, you know how gut-wrenching it is, just not knowing what's gonna happen. And that's basically been my life for the last month and a half. Really wanted to be able to purchase this, didn't know what it was actually gonna go for though. So Tuesday night, had the auction, this place was filled up, Chairs were all up here. Auctioneer was up there doing his thing and uh, the bidding started. I had hopes that I'd be able to get a good deal on it in my mind and I had a top dollar amount in my head that I was willing to pay. This property was worth a lot to me for a lot of different reasons, which I might talk about more, um, but I really wanted it. Bidding started and it went from the from the get-go the bidding was just going really fast and boom 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 it was going up um and i kind of just sat there through a lot of it and wasn't even bidding once we got to a certain point a lot of the bidders kind of lost interest and knocked out then i stepped in and started bidding and towards the end it was basically between me and another guy and that other guy, he bid my top dollar amount where I kind of had put in my head before coming into the auction, like this is where I'm gonna stop. So I thought, well, he hit my number, I'll go five grand more and we'll see what happens. So I bid five grand more, which was kind of gut-wrenching because that was where I wanted to be done at. And I told myself, if he goes one more time, I'm, I'm gonna be done, I'm gonna be out. And you know how the auctioneers go, they keep trying to get a bid out of somebody like crazy. And uh, he, the guy didn't bid, so I got it, um, basically for my top dollar amount. I'm really happy though that I got it. I don't feel bad about it at all because I think this is gonna be a great fit for my business and my family going down the road. 
So Tuesday was the auction for the property, and then the following Saturday, we just had the auction for all of the business assets because this was an electrical and plumbing contractor, and they had about 25 years worth of just stuff in here. I mean, this whole building was loaded to the brim. They got really good money for everything at the auction. People have been picking stuff up the last two days, and I'm super thankful it's actually cleared out really well. We've got a huge mezzanine up here. It was full of stuff. The shop was full of stuff. And then if we look out over here into this cold storage area, this was just chuck full of stuff as well. So we've got kind of like the junk that people didn't want to take with them left behind, but it's not it's honestly just not too bad compared to what was here before. I am gonna ask for you guys to help me out a little bit here. I have been doing the layout for this shop in Google SketchUp, and I want your help and your thoughts on what you would do and things you would not do with a shop space. I'm gonna upload the file onto 3D Warehouse that I have for this shop. If you wanna go, you can download it search insider carpentry shop plan and you can tweak it move stuff around do whatever you want to do with it i'll take a look at it um, just upload it again into 3d warehouse and tag insider carpentry in the title i'll see it and uh, hopefully i can get some good ideas also feel free to drop a comment um, i'm i'm getting tons of suggestions and looking for everything i can to try and do this right the first time so starting out in here this is what i really wanted this is the heated shop area we've got 16 feet to the square it's 2,000 square foot in this pad area right here with floor heat so this is going to be where all the equipment is going to go this is the really exciting part for me this is the mezzanine. Underneath this, we've got heated office and bathroom and storage space, but this is a full 16 feet wide, 60 feet long. So tons of storage up here. This was chuck full of stuff uh, just two days ago. I'm super happy it's been cleared out really well. Just a little bit of remnants remaining up here. I'm not even sure what I'm all gonna store up here. It'd be great for material storage. Might put some tools and stuff up here. It is gonna get a little bit dusty up here from the wood shop, obviously. But um, yeah, it's gonna be really, really nice. And then if you kind of look around over here, I'm not crazy about how they built this little ledge off of that wall there but I could also put material storage on that wall up there as well. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that. I'll probably talk about it a little bit more in a different video on the layout I'm gonna have, but there will be machines all up against that, this wall over here. This is a storage room right here. It's actually pretty big. You can put a lot of stuff in here, but I'm planning on this being for a lot of the consumables that we use to trim houses and consumables for the shop, maybe some tool storage and stuff like that. It's got all of these shelves in here. So I actually bid on all these shelving units and bought them back. I figured, hey, they're already in here. Might as well keep them here. I couldn't believe what people were bidding for stuff. I was like, give me a break, guys. I I, uh, I, I paid a decent amount of money for them to keep them here. It makes me wonder if I should have just bought new stuff. But I was kind of looking at my labor on what it would take to go buy it, get it here, set it up and all that. thought I'll just leave it. So we've got a little bit of cleanup in here, but tons, tons of space, tons of storage. It's going to be awesome to have this space to put stuff. So this room's about 24 feet long, 11 feet wide, 260 square feet ish. So awesome space. We come out here, we've got a workbench that they had. I'm gonna tear that out. I'm gonna have some equipment on this wall. And then this is kind of a cool area. They just had a lot of nice stuff in here. Utility sink, we've even got a drinking fountain, which is amazing. I never thought I'd have my own drinking fountain. So that's pretty cool. And then we move in here to office, kitchen, and bathroom space. So here we are, we walk in, this is a kitchen area, and then over here we've got another room that can be used as an office space. He's actually got a really nice nine camera security system 
all around this building and that'll actually show on the TV screen here. I bought these, I had to buy the two TV screens at the auction too, just to keep those here. So those are here. He's even got an air conditioning unit in here, which isn't great because it blows the hot air out into the shop. So I don't think I'll use that much, but then we've got a full bathroom out here. This has not been cleaned and some bad things have happened over this way. So we're not going to really show anything up close. Um, if you're into utility rooms, we've got a utility room over here. This is the, uh, floor heat system. You can see everything. I feel like it was done pretty well. Um, it's got a good base, just mechanical system installed in here. Water heater, water softener, and all that. Like I said, there is a septic system installed on the property already, which is great. So it's got a full functioning bathroom. This is where we enter into the cold storage area. This is about 6,000 square feet of cold storage huge space. I definitely don't need this much space right now, but the thing I love about this property is that if I want to expand the heated shop area, this could all be really easily converted into heated shop space. It's all, you know, set up and ready to go basically, but uh, tons of room out here. We've got some shelving installed already. Um, there's a concrete perimeter around here. That's kind of nice and uh, just stone. Obviously, I'm going to clean this up quite a bit, but um, it's actually looking really good compared to what it was before because, again, this was just full of all kinds of stuff before. So this is really kind of an ideal shop for a construction company. We've got a bunch of overhead doors the whole way, a nice 20-foot wide one, and then I think these are 12 feet wide. It's just set up really well. It gives me just tons of options. I'm really just excited to have the space and see what I can do with it. This is the wall uh, between the shop and the cold storage. It is really nice. The whole shop was spray foamed and insulated really well. So it doesn't take much to heat it. One of the things that I want to do is I wanna cut a hole in this wall and put in like a nine foot wide or 10 foot wide roll up door. I'd like to get a forklift and then that way we could easily move stuff between this cold storage space and the heated space. And then someday if this is heated space also, we'll have a connection between the two areas. The previous owners had this air compressor here. It's a 10 horse, 80 gallon compressor. I bought this back at the auction just so I could keep it here. They've got pipes ran throughout the walls on the shop. That way you can uh, plug in for air all over the place. So had to pay more than I wanted for it, but I'm glad that it's here. So maybe the biggest driver for this decision, even then the business aspect for the shop space was for my personal life, being able to build a house on a nice place, great location. This location is two miles from my parents. I grew up my whole life two miles that way. Our school's really close. It's five miles from the house I live now. It's just a, a great location. So here we've got our pond. We've already been out swimming in this. We don't even own the place yet. We haven't even closed yet. We've already swam. It's gonna be really nice and I'm just really excited. So let me know what you guys think. Hope you like it. I'm excited for the build videos coming on the shop. Stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm.